So that last video was a doozy. <laughs> it pretty much was. Um, I did get some pretty good feedback. And listen, even if you don't agree with me, if you hate me, if you think I suck, I, I am glad you at least tried to watch it. I know I seen that maybe half of the people that watched it watched the whole thing. Um, it was a lot. And I know some people looked at that first five minutes and they're like, this guy, he's a piece of shit. So that's where I got called like a Hamas supporter and a traitor and all that stuff. And I was like, you didn't watch the whole video, did you? And no, they just kind of took that one thing. And I, you, I know that politics is um, very steamy, very spicy subject to talk about. And I don't talk about it a lot on this channel. I try not to. But whenever I got called a Nazi on X, I was like trying to figure it out. It really bugged me. And the whole Hamas thing, which, like I said, I don't have a skin in that game, so I don't know. Like, I don't cover it. I don't look into it. Um, um, I've been trying to stay out of it. But the thing with that I did want to talk about, because uh, getting on X, you see all kinds of political opinions and stuff like that. But let's not talk about that. Let's not dwell on it, because, you know, I lost some subscribers. I knew it was going to happen. I got some dislikes. I knew that was going to happen. But today is Father's Day. Father's Day is um, it's a big deal for some people. Um, especially if you have a dad, uh, I say most of us do. Uh, some of us don't have dads, which that's very unfortunate. I do apologize. I myself, I uh, have a biological father, but I no longer talk to. I don't want to talk to, and I probably never talk to him again. But the one person that I had that was a father was my stepfather, and he died last year uh, from cancer, which was terrible. That's why I take really um, big offense when people start talking about cancer real bad like they take i just take pretty big offense like there's a few things like suicide and cancer and stuff like that like, and mental health stuff um i do um take offense to now you guys probably seen if you hop on x i'm a big troll uh and i say some stupid things on, against playstation fanboys because i've been doing gaming a whole lot more and i'll tell you why i really i really miss covering gaming and stuff and um it's just something i really like and I'm starting to find these parallels from the whole Friday thing thing that I've been covering. And trust me, that's not over. We're still doing that. Um, but I've been seeing a lot of parallels with that and with the gaming industry again. And it's actually really exciting. Um, but I wanted to make a video about uh, my dad. Uh, me and my wife got up this morning. Um, it was about, uh, I don't know, it was probably around 10 o'clock in... Uh, we went and seen my stepdad, checked out his grave and everything. We still don't have the gravestone out yet due to the fact that I guess the first people that was making the gravestone spelled his name wrong. And that's unfortunate. So they're still trying to figure out a solution with that. Um, then we got that and I went and seen my friend Josh um, that passed away suicide uh, about five years ago. Um, we went and seen him. Um, it's always um, rough to see them. And the fact that uh, Josh is no longer with us, or my stepdad's no longer with us. Um, he, they left behind some people that loved about, loved them very much. And, um, you know, I never really thought about Father's Day, how I was going to celebrate it this year. And the only thing I could think of is me and my wife went and got something good to drink, uh, good to eat, and got me a couple of these boys. Because um, my my. My stepdad liked beer, not a lot. He used to be uh, pretty big into it, but I, I wanted to take a beer just for him. And um, I'm a fucking missing, man. Like, uh, getting up to his grave and stuff, like, it's kind of surreal. Like, especially, you know, like I said, a couple weeks ago, like, I decided, and I made a video about it where I, I no longer want to talk to my biological father anymore. Like, I don't want anything to do with it. Um, and it's... um. It's hard to go down there and see the grave of somebody you love. And, you know, I got up this morning and watched the video I made about him uh, where I did the, um, where we took a look at some of the photographs of him and people coming to see him before he died. And uh, that was really sad. That was really sad. Um, so one thing you should know, if you, have, if you have a dad or if you have a stepdad, as long as they're treating you well and not being narcissistic assholes, be sure to hold on to him, right? Kind of respect him. Kind of, kind of. If you have a good dad, I'm not saying like if you have a bad dad, then I would just say if it doesn't work out, just get rid of it, just walk away. But as far as 
that goes. I was kind of hard because I looked back. I was like, man, I was not a perfect um, stepson. And you came into my life and um, you decided to step in where my real dad didn't want to step in. Um, you wasn't narcissistic, even though me and him bumped heads because, you know, here I am. I'm a big nerd gamer guy and he was a uh, workaholic country boy and he put us to work when we was kids. Um, and one of some of the things he told me like back in the day, it's like, you never want to make it. And um, I had those moments where I was like, when I failed, when I failed in life. And I was like, fuck, he was right. I was, I, you know, I was almost homeless and uh, you know, I slept in my car for a little bit. Uh, I went state to state. It was in Illinois. Then I was in um, Mansfield, Ohio. I lived with my brother in a spare room. I lived on my friend's couch. I slept on my friend's store floor a couple days. Um, and I always put him on the head. I was like, he was right. He was absolutely right. And it wasn't until like a few years ago, whenever I met Mrs. Bits and stuff like that, where life started turning around. And right now, like, um, you know, I'm having some, been having some problems financially with, um, from where I switched jobs, took a pay cut and lost my insurance, but things are starting to get better. We're starting to get back in shape. And, um, I just think, I think I was like, he always pushed me to do better, do better. And if I fall down, you get up. And that's some basically life in general. Like you're going to fall down and you're going to get fucking knocked out. You're going to get punched, kicked, caught on fire and thrown in the trash. And pretty much what you got to realize is like, hey, you got to do it. In a long time, I always blamed other people. I never took like responsibility for myself. And just seeing like, when he passed away, like he realized, it's like, you know, he was right. He was trying to teach me a lesson. Um, you know, I've never seen him cry before until the day that um, uh, he drove me, me and my ex at the time, we moved to Illinois and he um, helped me move and everything. He cried, like, and he was trying to teach me a well lesson. He was rooting me on. He was trying to put me on the right path. Something my real dad never did. Like my dad, my real dad, you know, he went years without talking to us. He's still an alcoholic. We help him out. He's narcissistic. And we have people in our family, and I'm not going to give any names, that are still kind of like that. Um, not in my family, but sort of. Um, it's pretty bad, but you know, it's a little bit... I, I miss him dearly. I miss him dearly. I really do. I kind of took things for granted. Um really did but Josh on the other hand like I miss him every day like every single day like um, there's not a day that I don't think about it and you know, I had these things in my fucking head like you know he's a dad he has two kids that's gonna grow up without a dad because he decided to take his own life which again it's really terrible it's an awful thing to go like see like you live with that and it's like it never gets easy you know, I've had days where I was just like, I wanted to do the same thing where um, I had a, this fake gun. This is not a real gun. Like I, you know, thought about the same thing. Um, and there's days like I still don't want to be alive, but I realized like I got a wife and stuff. And I made that decision a long time ago um, to not be a father because of stuff that happened. And I took a look at my mental health and you know, I got a vasectomy, so I'm not going to be having kids unless they fix that. And I don't think I ever did, will. And right now, like, I'm, um, I had a moment today. Me and my wife was driving through a cemetery just to go because we used to drive around and stuff. And I had this thing, like, where I kind of wanted to be a dad. Like, I have a, I have, uh, a nephew and two nieces, a newborn. And we went and babysit them on Saturday. And they are amazing amazing i'm not their dad i'm just their really cool uncle but i feel fatherly to them and i want to lead them to the right place i want them to say hey don't let people give you shit and you know i might not be a good role model whenever i definitely troll people a lot and i say some stupid things from time to time as trolls because you know one thing you know you guys know the whole fraudator thing and i say some pretty terrible stuff about fraudators and sometimes i say things i shouldn't say I do the same thing about gamer people. I'm going back to my 2008 roots where I was in the System War stuff and I was talking shit to fanboys and uh, saying the same stuff. But um, I don't want I don't want anybody to pick on these kids because 
you know, I, I was picked on when I was a kid. I don't want them. I, so I don't want to kind of be like a father figure. But, you know, there's a, eventually there'll be a time, like, I still wonder what it would be like if I had my own kids. Um, but I don't think I'm ever going to do that. I don't think that's ever going to be a thing. I don't think I want to follow through with that. I'm too fucked up. And um, me and my wife, um, we made that decision to um, not have kids and just be good uncles and aunts and all that stuff. But if you have, if you have a dad, you have a grandpa or a stepdad, uh, godfather, adopted dad, or if you're a dad to some cats or dogs like I am, um, happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. Hope you have a really good one. Don't take... Um, don't think t take things for granted because they could be ripped away from you. And if you have somebody that claims to be a parent, especially a father, um, that's completely toxic to you, and you just help and help and help, and they don't want any help, sometimes the best thing to do is just walk away from it because there's no point of uh, making yourself miserable for somebody that's not going to change. Um, and that's just, the, that's just the gist of it. Um, yeah. All right, guys. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. We'll have some more gaming drama news here soon. Uh, also, do some little bit of Trotter stuff and some streams. Uh, no more politics, though. No, no more of that. Unless I get pissed off and I say, it's like I'm going to do it on impulse. Uh, all right, guys. Love you very much. See you soon.